Yep. Back out. As you might see, it's really windy. It's blowing a bloody gale. It's promised like sunny weather. It's supposed to be windy like so I can't really complain. When's that wind gonna drop? Gonna be here. I found a Brucey bonus, right? I found a pair of gloves. Grab vapor rice. They just happened to fit me as well, which is a bonus. They were tagged together. And they were in a very special... They were in a sp particular place. So if you've lost them, and you can tell us where exactly, I'll get them back to you. If you post, the, if you send us your address through email, and uh, I'll put your email address on the in the description, then I'll send them back, they post them back. They're about 40 quid these. Fit like a glove. Boosh. <laughs> anyway, I'm self-isolating up a hill just to get away from all the madness for a while. It's been absolutely the most stressful week of everybody's life, not just mine. Just everybody. Everybody's in the same boat. Everybody's just fed up. Don't know what to do, don't know what to think. Panic buyers and all this. It's crazy, man. So I thought, I'll just get out. I'll just get away from it for a little while. All the pubs are shut in the lakes, so I couldn't get a pint. Good job I brought plenty of ale. But anyway, I'm, I'm going up here and I'm expecting it to be really, really windy like, so it's going to be hard putting the tent up. Oh, anyway, we'll push on. I'm just having about five minutes. Oh god, get out of the wind. I've hiked up the top and uh, all the way the wind's been blowing. It's been blowing on my back, it's been blowing on my face, to the side. There's just no direction to it. I hate the wind when it's like that. It's just whirling around. It's crazy. Crazy wind. Oh, this Anybody else is just getting absolutely fed up with this, like I'm thinking about chucking camping for a while, just have a big long break, maybe he's come back out next year. This is just a joke, like every single time I go out I'm getting battered by wind, rain, bloody the ground's soaking, the rain it's filled all the blooming the roads with water, you can't get anywhere, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's crap like. Not enjoying it anymore. Really not. Might change, you know, but at the minute I'm just not enjoying it. Yeah, we'll see. I think it might do something to do with what's going on in the world as well. I mean, it's a nice view. Right in the very, very far distance, that criffle. I don't think you can, I don't think you can see it, but it's over there somewhere amongst them hills. Guided to a pillar, high style ridge. I'm thinking of pitching up there, like it's a bit, it's flat. I mean, I've pitched there before with the big tent, so it's all right to be to be flat enough to just get the get the thing up in that wind. It's wild. I've never put this tent up before. <laughs> this could be interesting. Great gable through the gap. There's people on there, like. There's plenty of people around. There's just been a couple up there. Run, run over the edge. There's a couple of dogs. Yeah, there's plenty of people out. They'll not, be, they'll not be gone for a pint after the walk though. Everywhere's shut. That's you closing all the pubs. The one thing people need is a bit of cheering up, going to the pub, have a pint. Nah. Oh, I don't know. Don't know what's to become of everybody. I'll just stay up here till it's all over. Somebody give us a ring when it's finished. I'm having, I'm having fun pitching this. This is a bloody joke. Ready?
not stress the balls. intense. Oh dear. in now and then it's uh, it should be secure it feels feels pretty secure but then felt the pegs need to go in oh. Woo. right well I'm all set up I'm in this tent um been saving up for years well, months for this like and I thought ah the hell this I'll bring it up I'm going to use it for um, like expeditions, two-man trips, and you know, base camp kind of trips. It's not a mountain tent. I thought I'd bring it up here because I knew there was a flat spot, and um, just to try it out in the wind as well. This is really windy. It's supposed to be 40 mile an hour gusts. So far, it's really solid. It looked stressful putting it up, but it went up dead easy. Just lay the poles in. Blue one in first, and then the other two, red one and white one, colour coded. And then I just like bent the pole in to go into the other sleeve, and it just came up. It came up like that, and it was set, it was steady. It wasn't uh, flying all over the place. I've got it pitched, secured down with six pegs, so it held it in place. Needs a footprint attached. I've got the footprint. I brought the footprint with us, but it's just it's too windy to put it on because you need to. Take, turn the tent upside down, lay the footprint out and then put the tent on it. It's too windy, it's too wild. Probably just blow away. I'll just do that when I get home. It's alright. This is uh, the bottom of it's alright anyway. It's not on mud anyway either, so that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is just get 
a cup of coffee on, um, put the radio on, chill out, and just take it in, wait for the wind. The wind was 29 mile an hour, gusts 32, it's meant to get up to about 40, so it's gonna be just windy the whole thing. I've got earplugs, I'll sleep through the wind. Earplugs, it's the future. If you don't like the wind, get earplugs. Right, just turn you around and show you the view from the tent. It's not bad. I mean, that's all. I've been here before, but it's always nice to come here. That's how I knew I had this big flat spot because I've been here before. That's why I came here. Wind, man, off that wind would just go away. Absolutely lovely if it was no windy. Right, I'm gonna get me, uh, get me coffee on. It took like a minute. I wasn't used to that. I'm not expecting that. I thought, Chris, it's going to take ages, but... I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't know how to get that off. I'm sure that can't be right, but that has got to come off, hasn't it? I'll work it out. Don't want it too strong. Just top it up. Bit of coffee, mate. Perfect. The perfect coffee for the perfect location. Albeit windy as hell. Check this out. So I'm gonna have a bit of this Stoffengreit, Stoffegreit, which is basically beef stew. So it's uh, it's as light as a fella like. You fill it up to there. You see, you fill it up to there. Just let it um, reconstitute. It's proper lightweight. That's proper freeze dried. That I've had that quite a while. But I'm gonna have it tonight. There's a lot of calories in it and I'm a bit cold, so that should warm us up. So I'll get this on.
dolphin. Great. Oh, God. It's not exactly uh, pretty, like, is it? It's a lot of rice. I'll tell you what, it's tasty, but I don't think I'll be buying that again, because it was very expensive. If I can get it cheaper, I will, but I'm not paying that price again. Never mind. Let's crack on. It's all right. It's got big pieces of beef in it, like, that's all right, that's nice. I suppose it is quite nice. It warms you up as well. But it's the price of it, the price of that was like, I think it was like 10, 11 quid or something. And some of them go up at 15 pound. But you know, I'll probably be up all night now. All the calories, all the protein. <laughs> That wind's getting worse. I think the tent's all right. I'll keep going out and checking all the pegs because the uh, ground's not exactly gripping the pegs. There was a couple of loose ones before, but I think that might have just been... I didn't put them in properly in the first place. But everything's tightened down now. Guy lanes are nice and tight. And it's, it's absolutely rock solid, really. I don't know what I'm bothered about. I just uh, hope I get some sleep. I'm gonna go out in a bit, there's no sunset. It's just going down now, it's just a washout, it's an out. Um, said there was gonna be stars in that later on, but I can't see that happening, too cloudy. But I'll go out later and see what it's about. But for now, I'm just gonna finish this. It's real, you know, real. Oh, it's freezing. Temperature's gone right down. Uh, I've got two of them, two of these. I've never had this one before, so I'll start with that. <sighs> Absolutely Baltic. Put my big gloves on. They're quite good. They weren't that expensive. Montaigne Extreme. They big pile inside there. I used to warm them. They were warm last week. I had them on in that lemon rainstorm. They were alright. My hands warm. Put your hands in warm. A little warm up, all right. Oh, I'll tell you what else I've got now, which I'm not having. Can't be bothered. I'm a bit full after the stove grate. Chocolate pudding. Keep that for another time. All oh, right. So I'm gonna have. I've had to shut the porch, like. Because you know, the wind's coming in a bit. The wind's just whipping around, it's not in any direction. Probably the good thing about this tent is it's pretty geodesic, so you can put it in the wind. Um, it's like, so it doesn't matter which way it blows, you've always got a, you've always got a fair bit of protection. The poles are cross over poles, so you can get away with pitch as long as you've got the You've got the back door here. This is what I like about it. Two porches. You've got the door there. So if the wind's coming from the other side here, just use this as your porch. I've got my backpack in there. It gives you loads of space when you can put your backpack away. Like, and um, obviously, yeah, the door that side because the wind's blowing the other way. So good, good stuff. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't cheap this time, like, but. I'm hoping to get a good few years out of it. And I have been saving up for a long time. I think Roger and Diane had one on the camp we, me and Carrie did with them. They had the Steiger, and I, from then, I thought, yeah, fancy one of them, like. So that's about two years, two, maybe three years coming up. I've been just putting money away for that. That's what you're doing, it's your hobby. The money and get the use out of it. Hopefully, get the use out of it. Probably be going back after this trip. I had enough, man. Sick. <laughs> I've cheered up a bit. 
I'm going to get the tent up, I was cheered up a bit. But, uh, anyway, right, I'm going to crack a can. I hope everybody's doing the same. Here's to you. Freezing. I've had my um, stuff and great tea. I've had a couple of beers. This one is nice. This. <coughs> Ooh, got a cough. New England IPA. Brewdog and cloud water. Wasn't expecting a lot, but it is quite nice actually. Six percent. Oh, just um, just chilling out. What time is it now? It's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, I've just sat listening to the radio. Not much happening really, the cloud outside, there's no stars. I was hoping there would be, but there's nothing appearing. Um, the wind's meant to pick up again about 12 o'clock tonight. So I've got my earplugs. Um, I think I'm just gonna watch a film. I've got, I've got a film on here. Uh, hold on. I've got a film on here to watch. Where is it? Downloads. I have got the internet, but... It's just gone mad. I don't know what's happening. <coughs> Stan Ollie. I don't know if you can see it. Stan and Ollie. The story of Laurel and Hardy. So I might give that a watch. I downloaded it, so... I think that's my breath, steaming on. It's zero degrees, like, no, I've just got my thingy, my wind meter on. About one, 1 1.5 degrees, because I've shut all the, I've shut all the doors, I've shut the porch, I've zipped that one up. It's cosy, but I'm just worried about condensation, so I'll pull all these vents open. <coughs> oh no, I've got a persistent cough. I've got a tickly cough, you know, that's off the feathers of this bloody sleeping bag. I've been choking on them. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna watch me film and get my head down. Just block that out because the camera's trying to frame it. I'm gonna get my head down after the film, if it's any good. Mm, anything exciting happens, which I doubt. If I go out, uh, if I go outside in the stars, I'll take me camera see if I can get some photographs. But if there's none, then there was none. So that's about it, really. There's another, another beer. Wind is picking up again. It's gonna be 35 mile in August now. This forecast to be about 50. Tents solid, but these these Hillyburg tents are flap inside the innards flap. I suppose that's because the um, the gap between the inner and the fly sheet is quite a big gap. The fly sheet, I've been out and had a look at it, it's solid, it's not going anywhere. I'm totally safe in here. It's just a blimmin' the racket I'm trying to watch it on. Uh, I wish I could get a, a wind-free, rain-free campaign. It doesn't matter about the cold, I'm not bothered about the cold. It's just forgotten wind. Uh, make this all night. I'll just have to blank it out and get the film on. Oosh. Yeah. I'm gonna get the 
uh, kettle on. It's the kettle. Wind never stopped. It never stopped. It actually got worse. If you can believe that. Look at this. If you come in here today, you can have a nice day. Nice day for it. Come in. Come in. Come in. Pull up a seat. Oh, she's Right. Oh, dear me. I didn't even use my earplugs. I just fell straight asleep. I'm still mad. Earplugs. So my top top tip is, the bloke on a health and safety course told us this. He says, normally, right, what you do is put a, you screw them up. You roll them. Take these off, huh? Make it easy. You roll them. And you put, put them in your ear, like that. And then it expands and... These haven't been used, by the way, so don't get grossed out. Right, so it expands back up to that in your ear. And that's what holds it in and that's what blocks out the sound. But he told me, he said if you want to block out more sound, get the fat in. And scrunch that down and put the fat end in. He says, You put the fat end in first. He says, There's no way that can go inside your ear. It's basically, that'll, that'll expand out as well. He says, It expands and the fat end blocks more of the sound. So, that's a tip. He says, there's no way that can go in your ear. Everybody says, oh, it'll go into your ear if the fat end goes in first. No, it won't. Stop being silly. It's not going in your ear. And then the one, just pull it out. Right, so I'm going to get the kettle on, have a cup of coffee, and then pack up. And I'm going to head. I'm going to head. So the next thing you see, will be probably me putting this tent down. I'm going to do either an absolute lesson in how to dismantle a tent in heavy wind, or it's going to be comedy gold. One of the two. Probably comedy gold. Well, the comedy is over because the wind is just gone. <coughs> oh, coronavirus. Nah, there's not a breath of wind. Well, it's not as wild anyway. A little breeze, really. That's all I would call it. So you can guide in now. Oh, so sorry about the comedy gold moment gone. I'm sure, it'll happen again. Uh, see when you get these delta pegs right. I get muck all over them. You've got to just scrape it off. Scrape off the muck. And when you go in this bag, there's there's two in there. Oh, there's one in there. So you put them in like that. On top of each other. And that, that bag is off the footprint bag off the in the match. And that just goes in. It goes in this side pocket here. It fits in there nice. There's no bulk in them. Just a little tip. Anyway, I'm gonna get this tent down. There's people coming up and all that, so it's weird when you're standing here talking to yourself. So I'm gonna say that that's it. Stay safe. Hopefully we'll get through this. And we'll all be back out soon. Remember, wash your hands. That's where I was. And the view. It's not hard to get up here, but what what a reward you get. That wind's gone. I can't believe the wind. 
Let's have a last look around. The trick point, that pile of stones always changes. And the wind must knock them over. But that's uh, the high style range. Haystacks. Pillar behind it. Over there, Great Gable. Scarfells. Kirkfell. Green Gable, Grey Knots, Brandreth. They're all there. They're all there. Over that side, you've got Malbrake in the distance, Ranadale Knots, Grassmoor, the big one, Wando up, Whitelist Pike. Um, in here, you've got Robinson, Hindscarth, Dalehead, Buttermere, Crummock Water. And the far one, oh, I can never remember it. It's something like Brothers Water or something. Like, oh, I can't remember it. Yeah. Right, so that's me away. It's half ten. So yeah, I just like doing my own thing sometimes. Sometimes it's good to do a solo camp. I mean, camps with your mates is good for the crack. Like, I was a bit bored last night. But sometimes. You've got to socially isolate yourself. And this is one of them occasions. So that's it, we're off. Pick up thy poles and go. Boosh. It's not a breath of wind.